in the beginning, my emphasis was mass communication. But given the kind of schools where I taught, where uh, mass comm and communication were typically in the same department, and also the kind of research I was doing. For example, when in the early part of my career, I did a lot of work on sexual socialization, how a young woman comes to know that she's a young woman, how a young man comes to know he's a young man, and what became, and the discipline was struggling with this at the time too, this is a couple decades ago, was it becomes impossible to really study the effects of mass communication without understanding interpersonal communication in the whole general communication process. And how do I talk about how a young man uh, learns about dating or uh, learns about what it means to be a man without taking into account what his family was like or what his friends are telling him. And, and again, this was two decades ago, maybe a little longer, the discipline was trying to find that link. and. Um, so there, was a red, there were ready outlets in the journals. Uh, my colleagues clearly thought that was the way that the things were going. So I became sort of a general communication theory, theorist kind of person. So probably the last 30 years, wherever I've taught, I've taught the, communication, the uh, theory seminar on the undergraduate and graduate level. So I began mass comm, but I'm pretty much a generalist now.